All right, it's Matt from Him and I Cosplayers. Uh, what we're making today is a super sledge from Fallout 4. You may have seen my wife or I carrying the uh, version of this at Comic Con the last couple years, but it didn't look anything like the video game. So I wanted to make it a lot more like this. So what I did is I printed out this image and every inch on this image, I just equated to four and a half inches in real life. And the end result of that is this product right here. So you can see it turned out fairly well, uh, pretty similar to what you see in the uh, video game. So if you zoom in here, I'll talk about, a little bit about the materials and how we made it. Here you've got half inch PVC pipe that runs along the uh, length of the uh, shaft. And the rest of it is gonna be foam. You've got some cable, uh, just that you would plug in your TV. And that's that. So I want to talk a little bit about the uh, process to make it. The products you would need is, again, PVC and foam to start it out with. And for foam, you just get EVA foam just like this. Like you remember from kindergarten sitting on these or you see them in the gym. And they've got that shredding on the underside. Uh, and then if you look there, there's a sneak peek to what I'm going to be building next with the uh, minigun as well. But what I would do with that one to four and a half inch scale is I would use butcher's paper and I would trim out the uh, sides of the hammer and all these fixtures that you see that we'll go through and talk about each of them. Uh, and I would trim them out on the paper, sharpie them onto the EVA foam, and then I use a hot knife to carve so you get a nice clean edge. For some of the smaller things you can just use scissors, that's all fine. Uh, but what we did was we took the PVC pipe itself and then I cut out some foam and I put it around for this metal cylinder. This uh, fixture right here is also foam but I use a Dremel tool to sand down the edges and then use hot glue with the uh, hot glue gun right here. I use that to stick the cable in there and then I've got a couple of loops here that keep it stuck on there just like you see in the uh, picture itself. Up here, I took five pieces of foam that I cut out and then I used a Dremel to sand it down to a 45 degree angle on the inside edge. And then what I use is if you look at our trusty contact cement that you need to make sure you shake up really well, then you just glue both sides at a 45 degree angle uh, and you wait for about 10 or 15 minutes, definitely no later than an hour or two uh, for it to stop looking so wet and then you just stick them together making sure that the seams are nice and nice and flush with each other even all of these uh, like you can see the metal fixtures here that look like they have a rivet in there that is still also foam uh, that I just use a Dremel to sand down the edges of it first with the sandpaper uh, version and then I use the, uh, the stone version to go ahead and smooth it out. Uh, as you get into here, the uh, finer details, you can see the hammer looks pretty authentic. And those are just pretty much four inch square blocks out of the EVA foam that go all the way around. And then I use the Dremel to sand down the edges after I use the contact cement uh, to get in there. Now for the uh, paint, it's fairly simple. Before you do want to paint though, you use uh, some of the uh, quick seal caulking to get in any of the uh, cracks of any of the foam so you smooth it out so you don't have any like bad seams that are showing up in your final product. And once that's dried, you go to the painting shop and you just paint using uh, your standard yellow spray paint for the uh, cylinder here. I use some um, Rust-Oleum. Uh, metallic rust as well as a couple of weathered steel uh, for all the rest of the fixtures up here and then after that I used uh, black acrylic paint and what I did is I just put it on here with a sponge brush and then I use a sponge itself to kind of mat it down and give it that nice dirty post-apocalyptic look then for the uh, final paint effect I use this for rusting and you can see if you look on the other side here you get a fairly rusted look if you follow the uh, directions on there. And you can see up here too on the hammer, it works on any well-painted surface. And then for the uh, finish touch after you're done painting, I like to use Mod Podge with a matte finish because you don't want it to be shining. It's supposed to be dirty. Uh, and then you just use a standard paintbrush 
and you go over all of it. Uh, it'll look white at first, but it'll dry fairly clear after that. So stay tuned for other prop designs, but that is the uh, Super Sledge. It's pretty light. It's about five or six pounds overall, and it's fairly durable uh, with those directions I was talking about.